To gain insight into your workforce, use the performance management module in Sage HR. To set this up, from the dashboard, at the top right, click on your name, then choose, Settings. From the menu on the left, select Performance, then choose, General Settings. Work down the list and choose which elements you want to activate. Then, click Save. If you want external people to participate in performance reviews, specify their details by clicking on the Add Person button. Select Competences. These are divided into two types, General or Professional. An example of a general competency is Soft Skills, which is non-technical and is attributed to a team whereas professional is a technical skill attributed to a position within a team. For example, being trained to use a specific type of software. Click Add Competency and enter a name and a description if applicable. Select whether this is a general or professional competency. If you selected general, then choose whether you want this applied to employees only or managers only. Click Save. Sage HR has a comprehensive list of pre-populated competences. Click 360 Feedback. At the top you have an option to add a competency to the list. The existing competencies can be edited or deleted as needed. Below the competency list are the review settings. This is where you can specify the default maximum rating, require comments, or choose to allow questions to be skipped. You can amend the sending preferences, choose how feedback comments are shown, and decide which reports to turn on. If you are happy with your setup, click Save. To view or edit the email templates created by Sage HR, simply click the Edit option. Under the Performance menu, choose Goals. Here you are able to choose the naming methodology, the visibility of goals, if the employees are able to add or edit elements of their goals, and, if approvals is required, etc. Once you have chosen your preferred settings, click Save. In the one-to-one -one section, you can specify if employees are able to schedule one-to-ones, and, if you choose to use the meeting checklist. This is an area where employees and their managers can make notes during their one-on-one -on -one meetings. To change the order priority, simply click and drag the topic until you are happy with the flow of the meeting and the order of topics to be discussed, then click Save. You can create a new meeting topic for employees or managers by clicking Add New. You can also create a meeting template by clicking Add under one-to-one -one meeting templates. Complete the template and click Save. From the menu, select Surveys. An Open Questions category is pre-populated for you in the system. To create a new category, click Add Category. Enter a title and a description if you need one, then click Save. You choose how this is reported, and how direct managers are able to view the results of the survey. Save your changes. To view or edit the email template created by Sage HR, click on Edit Assignment Message. By default, direct managers can only manage direct subordinates. To amend this, click Permissions. Here, Direct managers are listed along with the depth that they have, which is who they can access under their direct subordinates. Select the desired number for each manager, then click Save. Under Groups, at the top under Performance Groups, click Add Group. You can use Performance Groups to give specific employees access to manage all aspects of the Performance Module for other selected employees. Give the group a name, decide what they need access to, and click Save. Now select the employees to be part of this group. Select the managers for this group, then, 
click Save. Now that the group has been created, you can edit or delete the group. And you can also assign new employees by clicking on eligibility. The system also allows you to create review cycles based on triggers that you provide. Click Add New. Give the review cycle a title and specify the frequency. You can choose which teams this review cycle applies to. Click Save. Here you have the option to duplicate the review cycle, edit or delete it. To ensure that this will be actioned, click Zero Triggers. Add a trigger and choose to have a task or email trigger. Complete the required information, then click Add. A confirmation screen will display. Click Close. Check out the next video on how to use the performance management module in Sage Payroll and HR.